Hello guys, Duran slash Learn Swain here, and I've got something much cooler to show you this time. The file manager is working. So here you can see a list of files. It's a little slow, I'll explain why later. And, well, the camera, I kind of half fixed the problem with the camera's blurriness. Half. This is supposed to be bright yellow, that's bright blue, that's bright land, bright green. The camera's picking it up as dull colors. Well, anyways, you can see the file names on the left and the sizes on the right. Folders don't have sizes, though it's possible to find out how big they are. It takes way too long. So if it's under a kilobyte, the number is in green and in bytes. If it's under a megabyte, it'll display in kilobytes and in yellow. And if it's over one megabyte, it's in red. Now, this file manager is currently programmed to open any folders and load pictures. And unlike the last attempt I made with a file manager, if anyone remembers that old video about the squiggly character of death, um, I kind of fixed that. Though I will admit I had lots of problems with what's called a memory leak. It's a strange error that causes useless memory to be used up and eventually crashes after just using it for no reason without even a blue screen, it just malfunctions so you can open a folder images for example, here there are two folders in test.jpg and I'll, that's for later so say so open Zella and as you can see I can now open folders within folders which used to not be possible because I would have squiggly character of death and the file format this uses is .raw so as you can see they're both .raw and they're also both 149 kilobytes which is, a full, which is the size of a full screen picture these files aren't compressed at all that's why they're raw now I would put master salt there but there's also another problem we have stuck at the 8.3 naming convention which means you only have three letters for the name or the type of file, .raw, or .jpeg, or .dxt, and eight little letters for the name. So say you tap trifles, then it loads a little picture. It's on the SD card. Now, the library actually came with a function to display pictures, but I threw that out the window, and I made my own. My own is actually a tiny bit faster and it opens pictures in folders because the original one relied on an SD library that could only read from other from the root so you can put the pictures in folders but obviously mine can. So then I can go for example to other this one can't really see it well it's pretty blurry in the camera and if you're in a folder, say, oh, there's also, if you try to open any other file, it'll try to display it as a picture, which will just end up in gibberish. Also, if you're inside a folder, like this one, you tap here, and then it just goes back. Well, it doesn't go back, it goes all the way to the beginning, because back is a little too complicated. Now, if you try to load a JPEG, you'll have a Sim similar problem, there's the actual picture and then these lines mean it's out of memory and it's just it just keeps reading the same part of the file over and over again and that's about it, I guess there's one picture I haven't shown you yet yeah, I like Legend of Zelda, okay plus these pictures are great to test the screen you can only see it at a particular angle how cool it looks. So the, the screen's pretty high in quality. You usually can't tell the difference. You definitely can't tell the difference on a camera because it's making the picture look rubbish anyway. But this picture looks pretty cool in real life. You can see it better if I tilt it like this. And it's 16-bit color. You can't usually tell the difference between 32-bit color unless you look really closely. So this is quite HD. As you may have noticed, it sometimes takes a bit of time to load the folders. 
That's because I'm working at an eighth of the SD card speed for reasons relating to a hardware limitation. The final version, however, should work at at least full or half speed. So not only would pictures load faster, but folders should load faster too. Sit back. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tap. I also know I'm using an SD card to tap the screen for some reason. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my progress. I know this folder manager looks pretty lame. There's another glitch that I know of. It shows the slash here twice. Yeah, that's an easy fix as well. Also make it open the txt files without showing garbage, of course, and all the other formats too. Well, not all of them, but a lot more formats, hopefully. Well, yeah, so that's it. I hope you like the progress. I'll make another video as soon as there's something else cool to show. And someone suggested I use the tripod, but this is not recording on a phone. So what I ended up doing was record on this big plate of metal attached to this drill. So my camera's just resting over this little hole in the middle. It works quite well, actually. And then I just put a piece of paper over so you can see the ugly metal base at the bottom. And so that it wouldn't short circuit the stuff. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my progress. I'll still take suggestions on making this look cooler because it looks pretty ugly in my opinion. And um, bye.